Hello and welcome back to a very still and quiet Transport Fever 2. We are going to be continuing what we did last time out, which is why the UI's up. No long intro today, we have to uh, continue our main line. So far, we've made it all the way to Prince's Risborough, but we have to rework this station by quite a lot. First though, you'll be pleased to know and this is a good test for what the AI does. If we swap it over, all these people that are heading to, uh, it would be Sandhurst now, wouldn't it? Yes. That were on the Express, which is the uh, Twickenham Sandhurst Express. It is also the train we were riding last time out. We can select the uh, switch line button over here and switch this one to the commuter, which is Sandhurst to Twickenham now. And the 129 people on board have just uh, stayed on board, haven't vanished, as they'll now get off uh, at Sandhurst via this, this line. So yeah, there we go. That's a good experiment, isn't it? So we can start that up now, and uh, away it goes. This is how we started, or how I started, the uh, cab ride. There we go, we've got sounds again. <laughs> I don't know whether it's uh, soundless when you pause it, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. A little strange not hearing the uh, birds singing. But there we go. That is now joining the other one as part of the commuter line. Next time out, I, I know we've got a lot to do, but next time out, we're going to go round the map and check up on everything and perhaps put our HQ in. Finally, also, I'm just going to pause it there. I've been informed squirrel actually changed to half speed in the second episode i don't know how accurate that that is i've not checked i i should have done really shouldn't i but anyway we'll put it on half speed for an episode at the very least it will change the way it displays our finances as uh, the pay periods are every six months now because we're half the speed but anyway we need to also change this as there is no express line currently and I don't want them just sitting here waiting plus we're going to skip Sandhurst anyway as you can see our people should swap platforms there we go they're well not platforms but uh, lines they're all getting on the uh, commuter line and leaving the uh, the express line because it doesn't exist technically anymore so if we if we go in here, manage the line and just delete it, what happens? Science guys, delete that. I mean, the people will vanish, but will they, uh, will they just change over to the commuter? They do. That's wonderful. They've just changed their route completely. So they're not stuck to a single line. If you get rid of the line, they will pick another one that's available. That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? I love that. Right, we have got some work to do, haven't we? Do we have a train dropping off some fish? It's just on its way now. I think we can avoid any issues if we can do it in the right order. And it should just reassign all the... Uh, we've got a lot of meat on there, haven't we? Yeah, 55 meat. Waiting to go to Aylsham West. That must be the west then. So if that's the case, uh, that's north where we're facing up to Thatcham. That'll be the east and we're, we're in the south corner, aren't we? Well, if that, that'll be the southeast corner. Risborough's in the southeast on our map. There we go. Should we get this rebuild done? It's going to be phase one. We have to think about what we're doing with our food just here. And well, our coffee, it's classed as food for... Uh, this mod we've got installed we've got to bring it from sandhurst coffee farm and take it all the way up to the risborough coffee refinery and if we just go and check in here and we go to buy vehicles cargo wagons and we look for coffee berries they take box cars and what about the coffee beans also box cars so we're going to be half stacked with the meat from here and then the coffee beans from 
there from the uh, refinery. I'm not sure I would call it a refinery, but anyway. Um, and then we're taking both of those down here. So we'll be taking full meat and beans and then taking possibly half of the, the bread slash food back. Because all we need to do is take one of each of these. These lines mean or, so it's uh, meat or beans or alcohol uh, gives you uh, two foods. So if you take any combination of those, it will give you two food per one of each of those. Fairly straightforward once you get the hang of it. Given that, we really want to be on the outside here because our future express line is going to curve uh, a little more gently round and into the station and that means we can we can stop using the fish delivery train to head back here and instead use this as a massive line doing that all the way to the uh, the food processing plant and take some of the bread back and give it to to Risborough I like that idea, so that's what we're running with. Meaning, uh, we're going to have quite a beefy line here, aren't we? It's also going to be the slow line on this side. Is that going to be six tracks then? That's quite monstrous, isn't it? So the only problem we got then is where do we drop off and pick up down here? Oh, that might not work. We could always do something fancy and go underneath. Okay, plans are afoot, guys. I think we're going to go underneath here because let's just get a look at the heights we've got. We're down at around 30 meters there, aren't we? Yeah, we could go even lower and it just keeps going lower as well. Much quicker than we have up here. But yeah, we can go down 20 meters. It'll be a steep climb heading this way, uh, but we'll only be half full possibly on the, the beans. The other solution would be to have just a single train bringing lots here uh, and this being full of beans. <laughs> yes, full of beans, excited and energetic. And we take them here, although that will mess up the fact that we're taking half of the meat, wouldn't it? We'll just take the lot and we'll pick up whatever meat's here. It should be perfectly balanced, he says. That means all of our freight is staying on this side and we'll share with the commuter line. And then our other fish line will branch in. This is going to be an interesting build because we've got a lot to work out, haven't we? Uh, and not lose our goodies that we've got on the platform. Not that we uh, need to really keep them on there, but I'd like to regardless. So if we delete up to there, where are we going to go here? I'm going to say these two lines. No, that's not going to be the passenger line. I know what we can do. Let's get as a passenger platform in the middle. Then we'll have the other passenger line, another freight platform just here to give us access. Then we'll go with our cargo building just here. Should we go with a big one since we can afford it if it fits? Does it fit? Oh, it almost fits. There it fits. There we go. We can have like a, a dead end sort of thing going on there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Bigger freight buildings. Now what we should be able to do is... Um, oh yeah, we need to click on the freight one. Is move you to one for now. Just while we're paused. And now we can rework the rest of this station these will stay on here right let's get the passenger station all the way down there continue out non-electrified tracks over here our freight line is going to be just here with a freight platform where we share all the goodies just on the outside there then we'll need an electrified track down here, which is more than likely where we're going to drop off our fish. I don't know how we're quite going to work this. We're empty all the way back to, to here, which is a bit of a journey with nothing on. 
I mean, this bit of the journey, we're absolutely chock-a-block though, aren't we? And that bit as well. So it's only a portion of it. It would be nice to have something on there. Well, guys, the fish don't need to do that. We head back this way. We could bypass here, drop off some of these plastics on the way, swap it with the food. Oh, oh, I never thought about that. We'll be full everywhere, almost. The only bit we won't be full is uh, the short little hop to the, the berries, the coffee berries. Okay, so should our fish place just be a drop-off then? If it's just a drop-off, we can have a terminus, couldn't we? Just here, uh, about halfway through because we don't need it very long at all. I know it'll hang over the edge, but we can just drop off what we need to drop off. Then if necessary, we can have another one down here, um, which we can put in later. I don't think we need to do it now. And drop off, what else would we be dropping off? Machines, eventually. Oh, which again is up just up there. We could pick up the food and the machines and bring them down depends how busy it is on the way back it might be an idea we'll have to see won't we we'll have to see let's get back in edit we're going to get a passenger building sat right there it should make this a terminus here i take it back i don't like it i would like one of these platforms just here to block that off and then we'll have the passenger building. I think we can fit a biggie in like that. Because we have to pretend that they require an underpass to get over here. Because they don't technically, but it'll be nice, wouldn't it? To uh, have it put in. I like this setup so far. we just got to hook it all up now. The freight side is electrified currently. So what I'd like to do is get rid of the electrics on this side here and change over our goods we've got here that are currently overloading our tiny little platform temporary platform and instead we need to stick that on Ooh, what do we need to stick that on who's going to be picking it up currently well currently it's going to be our fish train we're not doing the freight side but we need to prepare for it so we're going to send our fish train into three which will give it a nice big platform to, to uh, fill up there do i like that idea yes i do that means we've got some uh, shenanigan reworks to do down here as it stands we're not extending the uh, the passenger line past risborough today i don't think given how long this is taking but i would like to get the express back up and running it's going to have an impressively long journey and uh, I'd like to see how it all works. So that's going to go in there. Yeah, and then it will branch off. This inside line is all going to be freight. And our passenger line from this point will come up. And we'll just branch off into there. I like that. So we're not completely together now on our freight lines. This will continue up that way. Oh, I need to turn the electrics back on, don't I? Our freight trains not gonna like that we need to head back out this way once we've dropped off we might as well do it down here i don't know where we need to be as regards to oh i think the train's not longer than the platform is it we could make that a little shorter for now watch it be longer than the platform right there we go we have uh Yes, yeah, 75 crossing there. We're pulling in just here. That leaves us to rework this little bit for our ex. Well, it's not our express. Yes, it is our express, isn't it? Yes, our steam express. I'm going to take it up there and see if we can't maintain the 75. I think we can. I think there's enough curvature room in there to uh, make this work. Did I accidentally electrify these again uh, please don't be electric <laughs> i might have accidentally clicked on the station there we go that's better 
Right, let's see if we can't manage this. We're going to send it out flat. I'm hoping to go underneath once we have the longer express and go over the top of all of our freight goodies. But uh, makes sort of a cutting. Right, what sort of angle do we need? Something like that. This might work. Oh, you've got it electrified again. Dear, oh dear. Waste of money. Okay. Now you can... do. No, you don't need to head up, do you? 75. We're almost got the angle, haven't we? 75. If we go in like that, that's almost there. Uh, we need a little bit more off this. And we should have just a gentle curve all the way around. And maintain... Oop, and... Oh, and again. <laughs> oh, why did that tickle me so much? Right. I just maintain this curve... Perfect. Right, can we slot in here at 75 as well? Oh, we dropped to 73. Well, there's a little trick we can do here. We can maintain this same curve on the outside. Well, it'll be a little better, wouldn't it? Like that. That should give us perfectly the correct distance. And at the very least, this same curve we've got going on. There we go, 75. We'll look for a bit up here where we start to straighten up because I think we're still... Oh, no, we can do it there. There we go. Get you back up there. And get you back into the express line. Perfect. And what will we need up here for now? Well, first off, this bit isn't supposed to be electrified. We'll need to turn around today. I'm not sure if we're going to get to Alsham. We might run the line, though. Uh, I would just like to get this up and running. And we're going to be heading this way out. So this doesn't technically need to be 75, fortunately. It does need to be fast enough that we get up to whatever speed we can get up to. Pulling out the station, though. 50? We'll see. I think 50 will do. We'll get our one-way signal here to force this track to be going the direction of the arrow. And do we need a two-way signal? No, we don't need two-way signal. This is technically a temporary crossover anyway. I'm going to put a couple of signals here. Not required, but I'm going to do it anyway. And one there. Just to break this up a little bit. And might as well do another one there and there. There we go. Then we've got our double track all the way up. We've got to uh, join back in as we uh, currently bypass unceremoniously. It's just, <laughs> it's very temporary, this. And so this is going to be coming in at 75 just after the station. And then it will cross over again uh, from this point. The other slow line isn't going to be used at the moment we shouldn't need a signal on here technically i'm going to put it in anyway just so we know what we're doing and that means yes we don't need that there because we're not doing the uh the extension to the the commuter that's where i was getting confused all we need to do currently is just branch out like that there we go. We'll put the signals in anyway. And there we go. Lovely. Now it makes sense and would have another one-way signal just before our junction there. That's our bypass. This is all getting ready for uh, this being an island platform for our, our local stopper. So we'll, we'll drift off that way. And... I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. We're going to need a lot of, a lot more signalling on here because it's going to be our express and our commuter sharing the line. I'm probably going to keep the frequency down for now, so we'll just put a few in here and adjust it as necessary. Just before the bridge there. Another one up here. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. I'm just going to put these in with a bit of spacing. They should be spaced out anyway. 
Eventually, they're going to have a dedicated line, but as they're all doing the same speed, we can just signal these extra blocks for them to reserve. I'm going to put another one in the halfway points. There we go. And as we're approaching this junction, we'll get them closer together, I think, up here. There we go. Right, that's a lot more blocking, isn't it? We'll have another one just there. I'll go away and I'll and I'll add a few more signals. We'll need yeah, we'll need this to be a little closer as they're gonna be accelerating away from the station. I don't think we're gonna see any issues here because we're double tracked. We shouldn't have trains bunched up just yet. We'll have to signal this more once we've got our express branching off, which might be a cutting. I still might use this as a cutting so we could go underneath here uh, and rejoin. Oh no, we're going to be on this side, aren't we now? What I should do is draw this in so you've got a rough idea of how all of this is going to come together. There we go. And we're going to have a local train, but it's going into the a local station up there. And it's going to share the line, possibly with a freight. We'll see how busy the freight gets, but that is just going to be heading down that way. So that's going that way. That's going to go all the way to Aylsham. That's the express line, the express main line. There we go. Now we could do a little bit of painting here before we leave. Or we could set it up first, perhaps, and see if it works. We've got to get this in, haven't we? Let's flatten this because I pretty sure this this section is the same height as that section don't guess grand is it uh, 54 and 54 yeah it seems an, an excessive build for the city to go all the way up here it would certainly be quite Sheffieldy to just go up and down the the hill here uh, but we've got the money to to just plow through this and the ability to as well so uh, we got what we got. It's just going to be for the tram. If we go in like that, we're going to have a big old cutting. It's all going to be development. That's what all this is for. Whether they actually build here, unsure. Let's get that massive. We can afford it. Get you through there. What sort of height are we when we get up here? Are we higher or lower? About the same. Look at that. Right, so that's going to be our tram line. I'm going to take some of this off. Yeah, they might build up that section, but we don't need it up here at all. Get all that nice and smooth. Yeah, I like that. It's going to give them some uh, building down here, isn't it? A little bit of building work available. We can leave a little bit of a, a hill in places. Why not? See what they do with it. Get that official episode. This bit can stay hilly. I don't mind that bit. We just don't want our main bit being too hilly. Yeah, beautiful. I like that. Right. Shall we get Risborough ready for, uh, for a train network? And we've got to figure out where, I'm going to say here, where our station's going to be. So if we get our train station in, just as a marker it's going to be somewhere here isn't it and do we want it to be in a cutting then it's i tell you what's tempting about it if we put it in a cutting we can continue risborough over the top but we've got farms there anyway but it's not a bad idea maybe it would save us a bit of a climb to be fair i don't know how how far can we go down uh, it's a shame it, it does the uh, the strangeness with the terrain, but we want to be able to go over the top. So the plan is that when that's in, we can hopefully get a road to go over the top. There we go. Yes. So our city will continue out that way. Do we like that? I sort of do. Will that work? I think it will, wouldn't it? That's about the right height. 
any closer and it's going to be a bit iffy. Right, let's get the terrain tools then and make us a lovely sharp edge or sharper edge here so that we do in fact put some feet down. Oh yes, we can build the other side, can't we? Let's get uh, some more track on here. I've got electrics in. I don't think it matters. We'll go with uh, another platform. We might take more than one. In fact, it might be like a double terminus thing going on. Which will be fine, I think. We can make that work. We'll get the, uh, the flattening tool again. We'll make this a little smoother around here. A little bit bigger. There we go. Get you nice and flat. And at the front here, because we're going to need our road. So we'll bring this in and flat. I don't know which way we're going to meet up. Probably this way, right? So then we didn't need to do that at all. It'd be something like that. And we can bring this one in where we're going to cross over. And then our train's going to head out that way. Let's take the, the slope off that a little bit. We're going to be heading that way. We'll be heading that way and heading up eventually to meet back up with the uh, freight line get a bit of smoothing going just underneath the station and then we can flatten out again I guess with this one give us a little bit of a smoother cutting now there are mods that I use quite frequently on my my building stuffs when I when I like to scenery everything that give you a a solid wall it's tempting to put that in so that I can build a nice retaining wall for this down this side. Up to you on that one. I'll add it to the uh, the mod collection. There is one available which is Badger Hax's building blocks, if you'll remember from the Scottish series. And we could put that in, couldn't we? Right, now, what do we want to do here? I, I just think a nice gentle cutting and aim that way and then we'll be heading down it'll be kind of nice it gives us lots of opportunity to uh, bury ourselves and have lots of bridge work do we like that idea I like that we can go over the actual station itself that makes me happy right will you go over again you will you'll even go over as an arch which is kind of beautiful uh, except it messes up the road. Yes, I forgot about that bit. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> oh, I kind of feel like the arch is the way to go now. Because you're not going to get your feet down there. Well, it depends if we want to put those mods in, doesn't it? We need you straight, though. Uh, do you do the arch? Oh, it's a shame you do the cobblestones on top of the bridge. Oh, but that does look cool. Oh, do you know what? We'll accept it. We'll accept it. And if we install the, the other stuff, we'll get that updated. Right, which means this is going to be probably a dead end into a bus stop here. Or a tram stop. It would be the tram, wouldn't it? Yeah, the tram can be sat down there. So we'll get that flattened out along here. We want something different out here, don't we? Could we have a road that goes across the top of what we're going to do down here? That's that's what I'm hoping. To be fair, I wasn't planning on actually doing this build today. But if we can figure out where... We've got to do the tram network, haven't we? So if we can figure out where that's going, that'll be great. Right, buildings. We're going to go for super long. And we want the back end out there. Oh, but it's it's doing the silly terraforming. Right, just go there then. It depends. Can we flatten that out? I think we're going to struggle. Yeah, we're going to struggle with the, with the strange terraforming. Although, what we could possibly do is, again, get the building blocks mods and do something with it there. Right, get that. Will we get a road that can go over the top from here oh go on and yeah i don't like what you're doing with the feet there so what i'm gonna go for is 
hopefully can we get that working there is a no collision mod available there we go we get one foot down in the middle beautiful right are we kind of straight there i would prefer to be super straight but we've got the feet to think about put that in see how it looks i think we're good get you out there get you out there i think this side's higher than the other but that's fine is it by much no not by much at all you might build over there that means our tram get that curvy can uh, climb up here like that and then where are we head in i guess it would make sense to head in something like that for the tram so we branch off down there i should have planned this i'm doing it with you guys i just had a moment where i was like we've got to put the tram in and i need to know where it's going which also means we need to know where the other uh, other station's going to be because it would be a good idea to have the the two stations connected via tram wouldn't it i think anyway we might lock this road and own it because it's going to make some very bizarre junctions on here otherwise down here i don't really want them building roads off here so what we'll do is oh yes we can go via here now tools player owned so what we can do is own this road and the ai will no longer try to branch off here with their own roads right then let's select the correct streets shall we and not have another Aylsham incident and then we can head all the way through town we'll put the electrics everywhere else once we're done let's electrify get you electrified we need to continue our tram up to here right buildings let's get us a big tram stop in here get you connected we're gonna go monstrous with this yes there we go double shelters should be enough we may even have another bit coming out here to go around that way and we'll see how busy it gets hopefully it gets busy will you yes you will beautiful Will you just slide all the way up there and are you lovely you are absolutely lovely it's a shame about the righty angle bit but i like what's going on here let's see what they do with that it would be nice to uh have it all fancy i didn't put electrics on but that's fine that's a simple case of doing that we should be electrified all the way we're going to need more stops along here eventually but since we've got zero reason to stop there for now i guess the next stop's going to be up here isn't it yeah at the end there'll be one there then uh, skip a block and then skip a block and then we will have one just on the the last run out here and hope that they build up there okay we've got risborough tram met very metro thing happening and you know this is the perfect place for the tram depot uh, which is that one let's make sure we get the right one we probably have buses and stuff to oh that's beautiful get in there bit of scenery as well how different this looks uh, we don't need a rock there that would be unheard of okay so let's redo the it's going to be purple again but it's going to be the the express from Henley and it's going to be direct to Risborough there we may need to uh, use some waypoints which you can use signals for we're going to have it purple it was that purple wasn't it close enough Ooh, it was a bit bright can we go for a, a darker purple right make sure you click on passengers and we're going to take you all the way to Henley there let's just follow the line make sure everything is perfect what we might do is give this a little bit of a wait i think uh for transfers like give it a 30 second wait at each stop yeah i don't want any maximum that's not required yeah should we do the same up here then we'll see how it is we'll adjust it later and we do have our depot here uh, we no longer have access across 
Or do we? We could squeeze it in, couldn't we? We can just get a little, little cross over there. We don't need it quick. Because we're coming out the depot. There we go. Beautiful. We can even have another one there. Uh, looks like we're keeping that in, apparently. Right, uh, just a little bit of painting. And then we'll get our mallard back on. I would like to get uh, some of this grass off here. Down here. Beautiful. Tidy it all up a bit. I'd like to do the same over this end. There's a lot of grass and stuff, isn't there? Let's just get all that tidied up a little bit. Make it look a, a bit more like a, a large station area. Beautiful. There we go. Something like that works. We could even go over it with uh, different types of gravel and stuff if you wanted. I think for now all we need to do is this. Have you done something quite spectacular there? You have. Although that's not the finished article. So we'll... Oh, I can show you how I fix that. How quickly we're expanding. We've definitely gone full on now, haven't we? In fact, have a little bit more ballast there. Because that's going to head out eventually. Oh, bit of grass. Don't want any, any weeds. I'm going to keep this well maintained. Right, guys. I think we're good. Uh, yes. Shall I show you how to fix this? Uh, it's an issue when things are on slopes. What we can do is get rid of the road and redraw the road. Get our terrain tools. We're going to flatten a nice section out just there. There we go. And then we can smooth underneath the track. And then we can redo it again. Beautiful. And then we should be able to get a nice, a nice crossing over there without it messing up our roads. I, I kind of want it to be a new road anyway. Although this is an access road, isn't it? Not a main road. Get you up to there. And then we'll draw an, an access road up there. So that will be the, the small one here. We want to keep that. Will you go all the way up there without messing our tracks? It looks like we're, we're going to be good, guys. Let's just send you across nice and straight. Does it look the business? It's leaving our tracks alone, which it should. I think this section of track is straight. Redraw the curvy. Back up to here. There we go. Get you up there. Beautiful. Now I'll get you upgraded. In fact, can we take that back? Draw that a little better up to there. Beautiful. There we go. Not too painful at all. Now we'll get the smoothing on here. So it looks part of the scenery. There we go, guys. That is not currently used. So I don't mind it being on the main line. There are definitely cases around the world of uh, main lines having crossings on them. I'm looking at you, East Coast Mainline, and many others. Right, we're good. Finally. I think we're good anyway. We're probably going to have another main depot up here, aren't we, given what's going on. What do we need to do, though? We need to get this tram network set up and then get our train on. New line, and that's going to start... Well, this is the main station. So we'll go all the way through the middle of Risborough and all the way back. And we'll add stops to it as we see fit. And this is going to be orange. Lots of orange lines. There we go. Let's get you purchased and on the line. And we'll color you that orange. So when we duplicate you, you're all set. Get you on line two. Not the best naming in the world, Grand. This would be uh, Prince's Risborough. Oh, Riseborough. Risborough Metro. Oh, yes, and we need it to be number one, don't we? One Prince's Risborough Metro. Do we like that? Is that good enough? Yeah, that should, uh, that should fire up demand. Let's just hit play, make sure it does. Uh, oh, my... I'm really curious to see how they uh, react to this. I really am. Oh, yes. Turn off all the, the money and stuff. We don't need to worry about that. Spent an absolute fortune today. Gotta love it. 
Uh, we get to enjoy all of our hard work next time out. Shall we get us the train on here? We're going to have the same setup, the exact same setup as we had before. We don't have any, <laughs> any locos that take coffee beans, surprisingly. Right, we'll get you on there. We'll get our passenger wagons on there. Oh, do you know, we have to, don't we? They're supposed to be purple. This might look terrible, but we're <laughs> blue and purple. It's a bruise. Right, uh, 140, that's what we'll start with, because we can afford to, and we'll get you on <laughs> line one. Excellent. Line one it is. I completely didn't name anything, did I? Let's rename you to something a little better. There he goes. He's coming out now. We'll take a look at the wagons. I might change the colour of those. So this is currently Henley, isn't it? Henley to Risborough Express, isn't it? Yes. With an E, I believe. Grand. You missed out on the E. Henley. Right, let's see how garish that looks. In comes the uh, Twitch train. <laughs> oh, I'm not keen on it. They're a bit bright. I mean, I don't mind. They're sure. I mean, we're going modern times, apparently. Do we have any passengers yet? Uh, let's see. People are just um, going to Sandhurst, Twickenham, Sandhurst. They're on both sides now. So that's good to see. We're just going to get you parked in there so you trigger uh, demand. And we should be good and we'll probably add more on there. What we now have to keep an eye on is our tram is... Yes, there we go. We've got people starting to board. So we'll immediately add us another, another tram on there. People are building up. Where are you all going out of interest? We have five going to Victoria Road and... Oh! What do we have here? Someone is heading to our, our intercity station, our express station. We have one person. Who are you? We've got to find that one person. Is it Theo? Uh, yes, it is. Good guess. What are the odds on that? Uh, so, details. Where are you going? No, you work here. It can't be you. Oh, no, that's this. It's the number one. I, it was, I got excited. I thought I was brilliant. Yeah, you're all going to be going via there. But we need to find who's going outside of Risborough, don't we? Uh, details. There we go. There we go. It is Eleanor Evans is going to which com commercial building? This commercial building. Just here. The Renaissance. That's a journey. That is where you're going shopping, is it? Why not? All the way down there. From all the way up here. Perfect. You give us your money, Eleanor. Brilliant. I love it, guys. Right, we're going to keep an eye on that when we come back. All right, guys, that was an episode, and I have saved it. So uh, when we start up, we'll start up back from this point, and we'll keep an eye on everything next time out. Yes, headquarters time, I believe, would be uh, nice to put in. And we'll pick a place for that. Lots of weeding I've got to do off camera. We should pass someone up here as well. What else do we need to do? Uh, go and check on all of our industry setups. We haven't seen them for a while. I think they're okay though. We haven't really had much in the way of new locos that we need to worry about. It'll be more if they've upgraded or are on the brink of downgrading, which we definitely know is a thing. And uh, here comes the local train for local people. Heading to, where would that be heading to? Henley first, right? And then to Twickenham. We've got a long, long journey all the way up to Risborough. And I'll leave you on board. Guys, thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.